When the Women's Fund of Miami-Dade organized an event on human trafficking at UM, they wanted to make sure it left a lasting impression on the youth. We think it's really important for young people because they are also a target of, of the predators, the pimps, to be um, aware of some of the tricks of the trade, um, that they could get involved in human trafficking without even knowing it. Melissa Schwartz, a survivor, knows firsthand that most people misunderstand the struggles faced by exploited girls. Nobody is recognizing this. And if they do see it, they don't see it as a bad thing. They see it as somebody that is just providing a service, that wants to do it. They don't see what's really going on. And they're not like, oh my gosh, who in the world wants to be doing this? You know, they didn't think that, like, okay, it, there's somebody forcing them to do this? Because, I mean, nobody really wants to go out and sleep with hundreds of men for nothing, because their money's getting taken from them, so they're doing it for nothing. Today, important messages were talked about, such as warning signs to look for for human trafficking victims, such as injuries or branding tattoos that reference money. Bianca Cipriani, a member of the National Organization for Women at UM, knows that awareness and strategy is the key to combating human trafficking. I think that it's something that a lot of people overlook. Um, it's easy to, it's not exactly 100% in your face all the time. It's not something people like to think about. So I think that having something like this where so many different minds um, can come together and really discuss you know, <laughs> ways to combat it was, is very important for the, for the cause. You know, to have different voices come together with different ideas, uh, different mm -hmm. strategies um, is really like how we're gonna tackle this. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Morgan Canty.